AI is the next big thing, so I thought it would be a fun idea to ask ChatGPT what it thinks of certain places that I've visited. And today, I'm going to find out the five best and worst things about Australia. Let's start with the positives and go for the five best things what GPT thinks of Australia. Now, the first one is natural beauty. Australia is known for its stunning natural beauty with breathtaking landscapes, beaches and wildlife. Well, I can certainly agree with that. The Blue Mountains, which we went to, was absolutely stunning. It was breathtaking to see the endless green gorge. Uh, it was just beautiful. The beaches, the golden sands of the beaches. It's just, it is amazing. And those are the places that we've seen when we visited Australia. So I can certainly agree with natural beauty. Next one, multiculturalism. Australia is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities with a diverse and welcoming society. Now, before I learnt about Australia, I thought it was just a very white place. And it is not after visiting. We've seen uh, a lot of Asian people, but that makes sense because it's so close. Um, there are people from all walks of life, from all ethnicities, and it really is a melting pot, something that I didn't realize until I actually went to Australia. And it is so amazing to see that the cultures, yes, the cultures are becoming Australian, but it broadens what Australia is, you know, what the Australian culture really is. Uh, and, and that's great to see as well. Quality of life. Australia consistently ranks highly on global quality of life indices due to its stable economy, excellent healthcare system and low crime rates. Now, I can't talk about low crime rates because, well, I suppose I wasn't mugged. So there we go, that's something. But quality of life is, is it's very subjective, right? Now, I think overall, yes, the quality of life, you see a lot of people saying life is better in Australia that have moved to Australia. So I've got to take their word for it. Um, you know, money is better. Yes, things are more expensive, but some things are cheaper. But genu genuine, uh, generally, the wages are higher over in Australia. And I think if you, if you round everything off, cost-wise, it's similar to other locations like the UK. So if you're earning more, it's a better way of life. You know, you have a lot of sun, and so that puts you in a good mood. Unless it's really hot, then, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you have to stay inside in the aircon. But I, I, I would probably agree. I think your excellent healthcare system is very similar to the NHS, so there are problems, but it's also something worth fighting for, for sure. So quality of life, yeah. Next, education. Australia has a world-class education system with renowned universities and high quality vocational training. Now, once again, I, I don't really have any, any real opinion on this one. This is, I've got to take for, for ChatGPT's word on this one. So please, in the comments, give me your feedback. Is the education as high quality as, as OpenAI thinks? I would like to think it's probably a very similar education to the UK. So you're going to get some good places. You're going to get some bad places. But overall, it's better than a lot of other countries, you know. Next, sporting culture. Australia has a passion for sport. The world class athletes and major international events. Now, we know Australia has, has world class athletes, whether it's from the cricket world, whether it's from the tennis world and so on. You know, these are athletes that compete all around the world in world events. And then you get the events like AFL where it is just Australia, pretty much. But we know Australia has a passion for sport. There is me at the AFL Grand Final. I know that Australia is passionate for sport. And it's, yes, you've got the big ones, the AFL, the cricket, the rugby league, but even in the minor sports to Australia, rugby union and football, you know, the fans that are with that sport are as passionate as anyone, you know? So it doesn't matter what sport, the fans are clearly very, very passionate for sure. 
Now let's look at the worst things about Australia according to ChatGPT. The climate. That's a funny one because normally the climate is on the best, but I definitely see what it means here. Some parts of Australia, especially in the interior, can, be exp can experience extreme heat and drought conditions and bushfires can occur frequently. Now, I know Australia has a lot of sun. However, what I've noticed after learning about Australia is you have a lot of extremes. Now, I know the UK weather is, you know, sometimes a bit dreary, but we quite often have a steady weather. You know, you roughly know what you're going to get. Whereas in Australia, you're either, the sun is, is right on top of you, burning, burning your skin, or you have floods, or you, you know, it's so extreme that it's hard to judge what it's going to be within the next few weeks or whatever because you don't know what's going to happen so i know some would say the climate is one of the best things but i actually agree with chat gpt in that it's probably one of the worst things because you don't know what you're going to get there's too many extremes cost of living the cost of living can be high with expensive housing food and entertainment now yes and no i've already discovered your fuel costs your energy costs are so much cheaper than over in the UK. However, alcohol, wow, that's expensive. Your alcohol, for example, is really expensive. Some food is more expensive, some is cheaper. Now, that's so in that sense, I don't know how true the cost of living is because I think, like I said earlier, it sort of evens itself out to a similar to over here, but you earn more generally. The distance, I, this is a massive one that hit us when we came to Australia. The first day we went from Melbourne to Geelong and all the way to Lawn along the Great Ocean Road and that took all day. All day! <laughs> Things are so far. Australia is a vast country. Travelling between cities and regions can be time consuming and expensive. Now, I don't think it's massively expensive, depending on where you live. Airport flights, most of the time, are quite cheap because that's the easiest way to get from city to city. Your fuel is cheaper. It's, I think the time-consuming one is the big thing. But from what Aussies say, you get used to it and, and it just becomes a part of life. So I think it's the learning curve when you go to Australia and, and you're experiencing it from the first time. Next one indigenous issues. Australia's treatment of its indigenous population has been criticised by some with a history of discrimination and inequality. I don't have a massive right to um, give an opinion because I haven't experienced good or bad. What I would say is from what I see is things are slowly getting better, but that certainly it had a massive history of discrimination against the indigenous population, for sure. For sure, that is why the indigenous people have fought for so long for, for land to be given back to them, for them to be treated equally. But that's all I can say on that one because I have not been a part of it and, and touchy subject. The last one, this is the worst thing about Australia, wildlife. While Australia's unique wildlife is a source of fascination, it really is. Kangaroos, echidnas, madness. <laughs> it also, it also uh, <laughs> is known for its dangerous creatures, including snakes, spiders, and crocodiles. Now, the funny thing is, that was the main thing that I thought we were going to really notice when we went to Australia. The dangerous animals. But did we see any that weren't in cages or vivarians? No. No. Now granted, we, we, you know, we, were in, we were in the cities, we ventured out slightly to the, to the smaller towns as well. But we didn't go into the bush, so bear that in mind. So. In the main cities, are there dangerous dangerous wildlife where most people live? Not really, not really. 
Now, what do you think of this list? Do you agree with the pros and the cons, the good, the bad, the best, the worst? There are some things that you might think, well, actually, that's not the worst, that's a part of the best. Or you might think, well, actually, that's probably not the best thing about Australia. It's probably one of the worst. Please do let me know down in the comments below and we're gonna do some more digging in more places. Thank you, ChatGPT. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out charlieandrob.com and you'll see all our vlogs. And I will catch you next time.